Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you the next distraction and diversion guide, and today is the penguin hide and seek game. So the aim of this game is to find the penguins and also a polar bear if you've done an extra quest. Now, each penguin you find, including the polar bear, will give you a point or two, depending on how many quests you've completed, etc. And this, these points can be traded in for coins or XP. Now, I don't recommend getting the money or the coins because it's not enough and also the XP is much more worth it. This activity can be done very fast if you follow the method in this guide and can be even up to 10 minutes, 15 minutes on good weeks. It all depends on the locations. So what I want to mention is that the penguins, since they do move around, this guide will not be a, a guide on the locations because they do change every week. This guide will just for an introduction to penguins for people who have never done them before and also it will show you the most efficient way to do them. A lot of people use the World 60 clan chat and really that is not the fastest way and I recommend following this guide to find a better way. So first I'm just going to go into the requirements. Now as you can see there's none but however I have listed a lot of stuff in orange that are very useful and a lot of, and the two in red that are even more useful. So obviously there's 10 penguins and also a polar bear. Now you can some weeks you may be able to get all 10 penguins without any requirements, some weeks you might not. And also the main but the main thing you want to do is cold war. Now the reason you want to do cold war is because five out of the ten penguins will start giving two points instead of one, which means you'll get a maximum of fifteen points a week then instead of ten. Now the hunt for red Vactuba allows you to hunt for that polar bear. The polar bear is very easy to find because it's just in a little well, and this well is changes each week only, and it doesn't move around, so it's very easy to find, and you'll find it later in the guide how to get it. And that'll give you an extra point, taking the maximum of 16 points per week. And that can t bring us some very tasty XP. So they're the main two you want to get done for the main benefits for doing the penguins, and the others are just to access areas that you wouldn't be able to access otherwise. So, but a lot of them you don't need to finish the quest, a lot of them you can just start. However, some of them you've got to finish, and a few of them you don't actually need, like Itchlerin's little helper. You can just tell you with a Pharaoh Scepter to the, um, to the um, Sophonim Pyramid, and that'll let you enter. However, I recommend just doing the quest. These are not the high-level quests that I've got on the screen right now. Most players will have done them. However, it doesn't take long to get them done, and it's definitely worth it for the extra penguin points that you'll get, because the XP is so worth it. And at the bottom, I've just got an extra one saying apply um, also a supply of teleports and extra tokens. Now, the reason I say this is because you'll be teleporting around all 10 locations, or 11 including the polar bear, to find these penguins. So you want to have teleports in your bank ready to use so that you're not spending loads of time going to the G, getting your teleports or walking there. Now, the other one is the extra tokens. Now, the reason I say this is because from Port Phasmatis, you can get a little boat to Dragon Tooth Isle. Now, every so often there's a penguin on there every few weeks, and this costs about 25 extra tokens to do. So, having a stack of extra tokens is very useful, and I don't recommend getting them every time. I just recommend doing it once, getting a decent stack. So, just go and do about 1,000 bones at the extra fitness, and you'll have enough tokens to last you for a long time. You, you don't even have to do that many, but that's just the idea. And then it costs 25 extra tokens and you also need um, a ghost week amulet which every player should have because it's a free to play quest now next I'm just going to show you a picture of all the penguins so this is what you're looking out for now it depends on the environment what it is so obviously a cactus is going to be in the desert um, the bush is going to be in like a tree grassy area and you get the idea that's they try to blend in the environment just like I like a chameleon would and also you can see there's two special ones that, are, that feature during holiday seasons so during Halloween like the couple of weeks around Halloween, you know, obviously get all penguins become the pumpkin, and at Christmas, all of them become that snowman. Now, I love these periods because they're much easier to spot because they do not blend in. Look, you can see the massively bright colours they have. You cannot miss them, and it makes it so much easier, and speeds the activity up quite a bit. And then you've got the polar bear, which can be done after the hunt for red Ractuba quest at the top left. So, I'm sure you're dying to know what the rewards are. Now, you can get coins, as I said, or XP. So these rewards are per point. You can get a maximum of 16 um, when you've done all the quests that you need to do, and 10 when you haven't done um, Hunt for Red Ractuba or Cold War, and 15 when you've just done Cold War and not Hunt for Red Ractuba. So you can easily find out what you want. So 6,500 coins, if you, do, if you do 16 points, you can work out how much you're going to get. And it's not too much for the time and effort, because it could take it could take like 25 minutes to 30 minutes some weeks when you get bad penguins. And the other reward is the XP. Now this is definitely worth it. And if you get all 16 points, in a level 99 skill you'll get almost 40k XP. So you can see that's very decent for like 10 to 15 minutes work, even half an hour work. 
getting 40k XP is very good for skills like runecrafting and slayer and the other sort of skills that you don't want to train. And even if you want to put it on herb lore or things, that'll save you. I'll, putting it on herb lore will save you more money than you can make from taking the coins. That's the ironic thing. So you can see the rewards are very worthwhile and doing it once a week and this activity is very fast to do. It doesn't take long at all. It's quite f enjoyable to do too. It's definitely worth it. So now I'm going to go into a clip of me showing you how to get the penguins and explaining how to um, where to go to get them. Right, so if you've never done the penguin hide and seek before, you'll first thing you'll have to do is come to um, Ardy Farm, not the farm, the zoo even, and you want to speak to Larry. Larry will be spending around here. Basically, he is the penguin keeper when he's here. I'm not sure. Is this penguin keeper normally here? But he is around here. He stands around this area here and you'll talk to him. And you'll have to, like, talk to him and argue about becoming a penguin and doing, like, his dirty work of spying on the penguins. And eventually he'll agree and he'll give you a book. Now, this book keeps track of your points and how many penguins you've found. But just destroy it because you do not really need it because you do all the penguins at once. But you can keep it if you wish. Now, if you've done a hunt for Red Ractiba, you can't use Larry because, as you can see, he's not there for me. And I must, I must talk to Chuck. Now, the reason I talk to Chuck is because during Hunt for Red Ractiva, Larry gets taken and tied up. So, Chuck, with exactly the same idea with Chuck, and you'll do the same thing. So, after starting them for the first time, from every week on, you will not have to talk to them. You can just hunt the penguins instantly. So, first off, before you start hunting the penguins, what you want to do is open up the RuneScape site. Now, you want to go to the forums. When you get to the forums, you want to search Freds which is here. Then you want to type W71 penguins or just pengs and that's why you want to be in world 71 if which I didn't mention but yeah you want to be in world 71 because basically this forum team trap all the penguins I think about and a few of us like Amazon Kitty Amazon Katie even and Twillow all do it the thread together and they trap all the penguins and along with the help of others and look, they can list all the locations constantly. They update you. As you can see, the thread's already up to five pages. And they do this every single week without, without fail. So if you go down, what you want to do is find the last latest post which lists all penguins. So it's the one. Where is it? Well, there's not one on the last two pages. That's not normal. Right, so there's the latest one. So as you can see, there's the list of locations all all done for you. Now, they always try to trap all the penguins. There's a few locations that can't be trapped, which will just be um, basically normally generally trapped in a single area. So like the east of Karamja cannot be trapped. So it can roam the whole of the east, east of Karamja Island. So generally these penguins you'll have to hunt yourself or go to the World 60 penguins as you would normally. However, it's much easier to just find it yourself. It saves you the effort. So as you can see, it's listed all the locations here. So there's Dorgish Khan, Mage Training Arena slash Al Karid, Entrana, Barbarian Outpost, Southern, De um, Southern Desert. And you can read all these yourself if you go to the thread. Now, if you read it, it tells you like exactly where it is. So... Dorgish Khan trapped in Er Meg's house in the southwest part of town. So you don't have to bother looking for it. It'll just tell you. And as you can see, please make sure you take notice of these messages. Please spy carefully and close the doors behind you because you do not want to let the penguin out and that's the last thing you want to do. And then it's got at, at the bottom, additional spy after completing the hunt for Red Ractor by quest. The polar bear, which is in the north RD well. So they list all the penguins, which are two points and which ones are one point. And they list the locations where they are. So as you can see, seven desert cactus trapped in the L-shaped building south of Simona in Polovanich. Now, after I look at this thread, I make sure like most of them are trapped because some you don't want to go when like there's just been an update and they're all not trapped. And what you want to do is go through all these locations and make sure you got a teleport there. Don't don't go for the direct location because that's just what the location's called. So you just want to get to a bank so you can get the teleports out and you want to look for the location. So this is uh, Meg's house. Now I haven't got a Dorgish Khan um, teleport. So what I do for Dorgish Khan, I just tell you to Lumbridge and get there. However, I've noticed one penguin on here. Well, three in fact. There's... Where? Entrana, Entrana, Entrana. So as you can see, Entrana, which is not normally trapped this penguin, it's normally left to room. And this penguin you can't to get to Entrana you can't take any armor so these type of penguins you want to do first really and to get there I'm just gonna grab a ring of dealing out 
Ring of Dealing, Ring of Dealing, there it is. And I'm just going to tell you to a tree. Mobilizing armies, yeah. So that's what I do. Always first, I go and get the ones that I don't want to wear anything for. So including the wilderness ones. So as you can see, there's two wilderness ones, and they're both in the lava maze. This is the most common place to, from the movie Trapped in the Wilderness. So then I'm going to use this to teleport. It ports the rim, so I can get to Entrona. And the reason you want to do these ones first is because generally you can't have any armor on when you go to Entrana and doing the wilderness when you enter the wilderness you do not want to take loads of gear because you can easily get PK just randomly by some idiot and you don't want to lose your stuff and I don't want you to risk your stuff either so don't wear an outfit or anything when you're doing these penguins and get them done first so just sailing to Entrana and as you can see it has the time of the, the update of the post so this is edited at 3.43 so you know how re like reasonable the information is going to be. You obviously want a more recent one, which the threads normally get more recent ones than this. But it says confined to an island last spot not on the north side, but that was ages ago. So it's most likely going to be anywhere on this island. So I'm just travel. I just travelled to Entrana, and all I want to do is hunt for the penguin. Just run around. This one's confined to the island. It's a small place, Entrana. You're not going to be run you're not going to be running around for hours because it d it's, it doesn't take you hours to run around the whole place. So, I'm going to find the penguin and then unpause. And I found the penguin, it's trapped in this little pen here. So, just want to quickly open the gate. Spy on the barrel, and make sure you close the gate if it's trapped in there, because you do not... This goes for all penguins, make sure you shut the doors if they're trapped in a building. Some traps do not involve doors, you just want to be careful on them once. Make sure you don't step on the penguin. Just click it and teleport, that's simple as that. So as you can see that's trapped in the pen and most of the penguins will be trapped in little areas like this. I just didn't read on in the thread, I just read that post. So that's all you do is click on the penguin. You can see it's quite obvious it's trying to blend in as a barrel but not getting away with it because it walks around. So if there are steps still like that, it's very difficult to see, look. It just blends in with these barrels here. So that's all you have to do and obviously if I get back to a bank, I'm just after getting that one I'd go for the wilderness ones. But simply for this guide's sake, I'm just going to get all the teleports. So what I'd do is go through all the areas getting the teleports out. So for Dogish Con, I just want a Lumbridge teleport. So generally a good thing to do is just get all your teleports out and then go through them thinking if you've got them. So I just get a Lumbridge teleport out. Next one is in the Mage Training Arena, north of Deal Arena. I've got my Ring of Dealing, so I'm fine. Next one is Entron, I got that. Next one is trapped at the Waterfall Quest Icon House by the Raft. So what I'd do for that is get a games necklace out. Not that one's that one. And so I can just teleport to the barbarian outpost and run south. That one's in Polyvanich. So what I'd do there is get a Polyvanich tab. There. Next one, more Maya Canifus. So that's a house tab and I use my Canifus portal. And the next one's near recently spotted near Lifford Farm. So you can just home tell you with that to get to the Lunar Isle. The elf lands near the limestone mine. So to get to this one, I just recommend getting your elf crystal out and telling a little yeah. And the rest of them are in the wilderness. And to get the wilderness one, the fastest way is to get a lava titan pouch out, and you can teleport right near the lava maze. And you just want to run to the other side, and there you're there. And the last polar bear is a North Ardy well. So. Generally, I always go and spend, spend my points after, because that's another thing I should mention, is that you can have only a maximum of 50 points. Once you get 50 points, you will not store them any longer. So basically, any points you get after 50 will be lost. And this is obviously to stop you going from like 60 to 99 runecrafting in one go with a shit ton of points, like 10k points. You just, you, it makes you spend them after every 50 at least. I just spend them after every week so I don't forget. So that's all I do. I literally just go through the places and get all the teleports out and then you can go through the places hunting for the penguins and it's as simple as that so our tell you lumbry this this one actually needs a I, I didn't I forgot to get it and it needs a light source to go through the dogish can so I just run to this bank and get one and I'd run through and get it so that's all I want to say in this guide guys it's just use this thread it lists all the locations and I, you don't need a guide to tell you how to get to a certain location unless you've never been there before. So you should know how to get them. So I'd just get a light source and go through the little hole here. So 
thanks for watching guys and I hope this guide's helped you with the penguins and explain the rewards to you so you now you know they're definitely worth doing and this one I'd obviously follow him so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video and I hope you've enjoyed this and found it very helpful indeed